YouTube. What is up, man? What is cracking? It's your boy. Keep it a hundred drink, man. And uh first off, let me say, man, I appreciate all the love and support off my first video, which was my um 2022 gun collection. Um got a lot of positive feedback, man. A lot of support out there, man. And I appreciate y'all, man. That's just motivation to keep uh trying to put videos out, trying to um do things, you know what I'm saying? That's uh just push me to try to do more stuff. And um as far as gun collections, I know it's been a couple weeks since I put that video out. I got some range videos that uh I'm getting ready to post that's pretty dope, man. So man, I just wanna pre I appreciate all the love, the subscribers, the views, man. Um can't say thank you enough, man. I appreciate it. But this video, as you know, um, is keeping 100 Dre. I'm a music and gun lover, man. And I figure since it's Sunday, I'm getting ready to load up, go to church. Um, why not talk about my other tools besides my guns, which would be my basis. So, um, a little background. Um, I started off playing drums in my dad's church when I was young, like eight or nine, maybe younger than that. I can't remember. It's been so long. So I was playing drums just like every bass player. And then um, I picked up bass for a hot second. You know, I, I my mom and them had got me a bass and I brought it to church and learned a little bit, was playing a little bit, but didn't ever really get it down like that. Put that down, picked up piano, keys. Uh, started playing keys, and that's actually what I play now. But <clears throat> obviously, um, my first love is drums. And like every bass player, yeah, I don't know not one bass player that can't play drums. But uh, yeah, I love keys too, man. But man, bass is, bass is a, very very close to drums you know so um yeah i thought i'd just go with my uh bass collection and show y'all you know what i got like just like with guns sometimes i'm an impulse buy or see something and i just buy it don't necessarily need it it's how a lot of stuff go but you know it is what it is so uh we can start off with this one so one thing you'll notice all of my bases besides one which was my last purchase, is a five string. So when I started playing bass, I taught myself. Luckily, uh, when I was learning and everything, YouTube was getting popping and stuff like that. So everything that I learned came off of YouTube. So shout out YouTube, taught me how to play. Well, drums I kind of picked up, but keys and bass, man, YouTube taught me everything I knew, man. So, uh, Never had a four string bass. Had one soda, didn't like it. Hands was kind of big. My hands are big. So, um, went to a six string. Every bass I had since then been six string. I had a five string here and there, but I didn't keep it long besides that one. So, but this one right here is, so how I came upon this one was, it used to be a site, it still might be a site, but I haven't been on there in a while, called Rondo Music. And, it's gonna sound stupid now. Well, well, I had a Fender, a Fender Jazz Bass. Didn't like it. I don't. Not right now. I can't tell you why. At the time, I thought it was like really. Um, I don't know. I just didn't like the sound, which is stupid. Now I love the sounds. I got a Fender cabinet, and I I wish I would have kept it. But anyway, I wanted a jazz bass, <clears throat> and so Rondo Music had this six string jazz bass on there. I want to say um, it's an SX bass um, six string. I want to say I maybe pay like 200 for this bass, man. They were cheap, man. And I put a um, when I got it I put a out there preamp in it which is which is dope, man. It give me um, it give me volume blend High mid, high mid lows, mid highs, mid lows, treble and bass. 
and it has a um I don't know if it uh, my battery is high, but I don't know if y'all seen that little blue. It got a battery indicator. So when you plug it in, you know, it'll show that little that little blue dot to let you know what your, what your battery is. And um uh let's see. I haven't played this bass in a while. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's pretty good. It's um, not not my favorite, uh, but right now I got the uh, Black Beauty strings on there just for looks. <clears throat> but I play it every now and then. It's it's it's, it's pretty cool. Um, kind of heavy though. Not gonna lie, kind of heavy, but it is a beautiful. Beautiful bass. Yeah, so that's my SX six string bass. All right, let's go to since we on Rondo music. Uh, this is my other Rondo bass. It's a Bryce six string bass. Um, I really just bought this because of the look. I was on there. Oh, the look, and at the time, all I had was like, um, I can't think of what the fretboard is, but uh, it's a maple. I didn't have, I don't think it's maple. I didn't have a white fretboard. I can't think of the wood, man. That sucks. I won't say it was maple. But I seen this with the white fretboard. All my fretboards was dark, and I wanted one I heard. Um, I was still getting the bases really and uh, looking at the tones and different woods and stuff like that and the people with different sounds and so I seen this bass and I seen the the body of it I was like wow that is too cool man so had to snatch this up man um, it sound decent decent you know, it's, it's, this is, uh, for me, like a, like a rehearsal bass. Um, you got a active and passive. It is active and passive. You got an active and passive switch. And, uh, bass, mid, treble, um, pickup. Blend and volume, <clears throat> but man, all right. But when you bring it out, it's a very sexy bass. Got matching hair stock, man. Very sexy bass. So yeah, that's that one. Okay, let's go to. Okay, let's go with this one. So this one is my. Um, my Ibanez BTB. So this was my first like boutique bass that I got. And this bass actually carried me through a lot of my first, when I first started gigging, like a lot of my gigs. This was my, at the time, maybe my only bass, my second bass. I only had two basses or something. And this was, this is my baby. She retired now. She don't, I don't, I still play her, but I don't bring her out like that just because I have um, other bases have the Bartolini, Bartolini pickups in it. <clears throat> Man, very nice, very sweet sounding bass. Uh, so you nobody know, no both on uh, one piece. <clears throat> Man, well balanced bass, very well balanced bass. And it sounds amazing, man. I love, love this bass. <clears throat> if, if I'm going on a like a high profile gig or something, it's two basses that I carry with me. This one, and it's another BTB that I have that I'll show y'all in a minute that I carry. And, and these, any sound I need, like these, these basses will hold it down. I love I 
dropping this BTP basses, and they look amazing. They sound great, man. So yeah, it's mine. Ibanez BTB six string, sexy thing, man. <clears throat> All right, let's go to. I'm gonna say that one. Uh, let's go to my five string. So this is my most recent buy, and my only five string that I was talking about. This is my Michael Kelly. So, I seen this on Zounds, I think. Never heard of Michael Kelly. But, um, I did, I had an itch for a five string. And then, I seen, they had it, I seen this pattern. They had this also in red and black too. Which the red and black looks sweet too. But I never, I haven't seen anyone with a, you know, yellow like this. So, I thought, why not? Nice bass. Um, five strings. I can play a five string, but my comfort zone is obviously a six string. Just because that's what I played my whole life. Um, very, this is a very funky bass to me. Very funky bass. Um, the, can, I, the controls are kind of backwards. I Sometimes I still got to get used to that. But um, active, pull, push and pull, uh, active and passive. Um, it's a cool bass. It's a cool bass. This is obviously one of them. For me, one of the, uh, like a rehearsal bass. You know, if I'm going to a rehearsal real quick or... Um, trying to learn some music or something um, just to get from, more familiar with it this is one of the bases I pick up and so yeah it's my Michael Kelly uh, any questions about any of these bases man I know I'm not going um, really in full detail of them but if you got questions about them leave them in the comments man any like I'm all about uh I can take criticism, um, positive criticism, you know, I don't, any hatred or anything like that, man, please leave that off my channel, man, you know, <clears throat> try to keep good vibes only, but man, if you got positive criticism, man, give it to me, man, I'm, I'm here to learn and, you know, my open book, man, I absorb any good positive energy and feedback you can give me, man, I'm, I'm with it all, so, uh, okay. Let's go to this space. I only got a couple more. <clears throat> well, two more. Yeah. So this is my wolf base. Okay, now this now this is gonna sound this might sound weird to some of y'all. So I don't know if you remember before base mod. Yeah, before base mod really blew up and became like the the top bins it was. Now you used to come buy base mods on eBay. I don't know if too many people remember that, but I used to see base mods, bases on eBay. And I always wondered when I was like, man, those bases are fire. But at the time, I'm like, I ain't never heard of no base mods. You know, base, they weren't popping like that. And like the six strings and the five strings they selling now for like $1,100, $1,200, you can get them on eBay for like five six hundred dollars man and i well i used to i used to look on them i look on them now and kick myself like why i didn't get one of them bases man why i didn't get one of them so <laughs> my theory behind this base was so you know i got a lot of six strings right um it was a guy around in my local area um i want to say his name was cordell he used to play a six string, but it was um uh I think uh, the bass name started with a C. It was like a it was like a popular seven string bass. Um, but anyway, he used to play one, and I used to see him play, it, and I was like, "Yo, that's dope!" And he was killing on it, you know. So I was on eBay, right? And I've been seeing a lot of these Wolf basses on eBay. And 
they were getting more popular. And I seen that they had this seven string bass. So I was like, in my mind, I'm like, all right, you know, I'm not going to wait for Wolf to blow up like bass mine did. And these basses become $1,500 or something, you know. And I'm kicking myself like, dang, I missed another one. So I came across this seven string. It came with a case, which was a, a hard case, which was just a nice case. But I think I paid like $700 for this uh, seven string wolf bass. And this uh this fretboard is like um it's like an ebony but it's like a um <sighs> my bad y'all should look, look some of this stuff up it's like a um it's like a different material like it don't get like oil and stuff like that i don't know it's weird but it's it sounds great it sounds great got a uh kill switch right here um because those strings can get green sometimes, but you know, hand placement. Uh, and the rest of it is just uh, basement, bass mid, triple balance, I mean, pickup, blend, and volume. Um, string through, string through body, 212 volts. Just take a lot of power. And uh, the unibody. Uh, man, it's, man, I. I love this bass, man. I love this bass. I'm getting, I'm working more on, I say working more, but uh, on like doing chords and stuff. And um, I'm not trying to be a guitar player, man, but in songs, you hit a chord here and there, man, it sound pretty sweet. And especially in gospel, where I play. But, um, and, oh, one more thing, my basses are tuned flat. So, um, B flat is my low. Um, it's my low string. Man, I don't regret buying this, man. Even though it was more like a, I want to get ahead of the game type of, type of buy, man. I love this bass. I take this bass all the time. But even on like main gigs, I take this bass because it sounds so good, man. It sounds so so good. <clears throat> man, check out Wolf Basses, man. If they if they still on there, very they make very nice basses, very dope sounding basses. Very high quality basses, man. Very high quality basses. For what you paying for? Very nice. Love this bass. Uh, oops. All right, let's get to. Let me see. So obviously this was still. Alive, so I get. It. Oh yeah. I kind of forgot about this bass. So, this bass, my wife got me this bass. This is my um, Johnson. Johnson bass. So, my wife got me this, this uh, for Christmas one year. Um, she told me what I wanted. I had found it on Guitar Center and told her, like, hey, I like this bass. I'm like, it looks good. Green and gold with gold hardware. Um, I was like, it's a nice bass. Like, you know, get that for me. So she did. And when I tell you, uh, sound wise, surprisingly, the, one of the, how dirty, one of the best sounding basses that I have. You know, BCBs, for what, I, she, what she paid for this, like, my BCBs cost almost twice as much as that. And, um, Let me see. Besides my BTBs, if I had to rank them right now, my BTBs are coming with me first. I will bring that seven string. This will be next, most definitely. And sometimes I'll take this over my seven string, depending on what I'm playing. Just cause uh, uh, my amp kind of hot. Uh -oh. Just cause. So I haven't had enough. I got to get my input fixed. Uh, just cause um, it's a shortage of my input, but ah, it uh.
slaps on this thing, man. Like, you could get funky. It sounds so good, yo. So, so good, man. It's so clear. The sound is so clear, man. Like, this bass sounds so good. I bet I heard noise. I'm in my studio. I got the wife and kids in there. But, um, this bass sounds so good, man. I love this bass, like, for real, yo. And I can't find another one. I can't. I will buy another one like this. You, uh, if they had it in another color, I would definitely buy this bass. Buy another one of these basses, man. This bass is so fire. And it sounds so good. I'll never get rid of this bass. Oh, that green is nice, man. That green is nice. This is, man, you can find you a Johnson bass, bro. A Johnson, well, it ain't got to be a six string. But just try it out, man. Try it out. I don't care what John you look, you playing, man. Try Johnson bass out, man. Fire. This is fire. This is heat right here. And last but not least, my baby. My, my number one. This is my other uh, Ibanez BTB. So, when Ibanez started doing like these, I don't know what this is called. But when I first seen it, I was like, I can't continue to play bass <laughs> and not have one of these basses in my collection. Um, so, it was tough for me when they first came out because when these basses first came out, I was also looking at seven strings. And they came out with this bass in a seven string. And I was like, oh my God. So I was torn between that and this. But um, ultimately I decided to go with this and I, I'm glad because then I came across that wolf bass, which was cheaper, but it still sounds amazing. But first of all, probably the sexiest bass you will ever see in your life. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that top, man. Look at it. I love any body basis. Uh, it's just easier. Sound sustain seems to be better to us, man. But anyway, man. The bridge on that. Check the bridge on that. Man. Got a, a three-way selector switch right here. Uh... I ain't gonna get the line and tell you what they are, like the frequencies and stuff, because I can't remember. I know I keep it in the middle. I keep it in the middle, and that seems to be perfect for me. And I just adjust my uh, bass mid and treble, um, pick up blend, and volume. Um, for the most part, it's on my amps. I keep my amps all level, and I adjust them on my bass. That's just a habit I've been having. But bro, oh my god, this is no sound, it's no song, it's nothing that you can have to play and can't get that sound out of this bass. No, I, I would dare someone to pick this bass up and say, hey, this is not giving me what I need. I can't get I can't get what I'm looking for out of this bass. It won't happen with this bass. And it's so comfortable. It seems it seemed like it could be heavy with all this extra wood up here, but it's so heavy. It's comfortable, man. It's light. You get you a nice strap, you forget it's there. You could play whole hour gigs. Right. And be comfortable. Man, it's so dope, bass. And it sounds so good, man. I think I will say, yeah, it's got the Bartolini pickups in there too. I can't remember which ones. I think this was the M like MK ones. Not sure which ones these are. <clears throat> I have to look them up. 
But, man. Oh, my God. Bass sounds amazing, man. Love, love, love this bass. And when you pull it out, <clears throat> you talking about, you know, going to the gig and people like, yo, like, what kind of bass is that, man? Every time I take this bass somewhere, I get questions about it. People want to, people ask me what kind of bass it is and tell me how good it looks, man. It's very nice bass, man. And it sounds great. I, <clears throat> any, any gig that I go to, this can, this in the bag. I got a, a bass, a Gator bass bag, um, the, a double bass bag. This is in there. <clears throat> Number two can change between, you know, at least four of these. But this bass is in there, man. So, yeah. Love this thing. But, yeah, man, that's my, my bass collection, my tools, what I use. Uh, like I said, man, any comments, leave them, man. Uh, any tips, leave them. Any suggestions, leave them. Um, yeah, man. And I, just, I appreciate y'all for real, for real, man. Because, <clears throat> um, you know, we starting to get back, you know, with COVID and stuff. You know, starting to get back in the swing of things. But, you know, uh, still, you know, numbers is on the rise and stuff. Kids trying to get in the room. But, um, yeah, that's, I mean, we got to stop our lives. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we still gotta move on and, and 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 you know live our lives. So man, I appreciate y'all YouTube. I love y'all man. Appreciate the support. You know, subscribe to your boy. Give me suggestions on things y'all want to see. You know, um, my wife she's a singer. So uh, music wise, I'ma have I got like some other uh, um, kind of like um, like little jam sessions and stuff to set up. Definitely got some range and some shooting videos coming up that's going to be dope. So, man, y'all, please subscribe, man. Uh, leave me comments. Check out my videos. Give me give me tips. I'm new to this YouTube thing. Uh, still trying to get make it look better and stuff. But, you know, right now, that's what it is. I'm a regular guy, man. I'm using what I got. So, that's what it is, man. Hey, as always, keep it 100, Dre. That's what I'm going to do about everything. Stay up with me. Appreciate you.